What's up, y'all? It's Sarah, the Urban Cowgirl. Of course, you know we're here in Dallas, Texas, but you know what? We have a really special dish for you today. Texans, like myself, we're very patriotic is what I like to call it. We put the Texas flag on everything, and today we're gonna be putting the Texas flag on a pie. You know, I saw this design on Facebook. I never could track down the original creator of the pie, so I made a recipe for all of us to enjoy, and that's what we're gonna do today. So stick around and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take a regular nine inch pie pan, and I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of any of your favorite spray oils. And then I've got some pie dough here. This just came from the, you know, sort of dairy section of the supermarket where the eggs and the milk and things are. And I'm just gonna kind of roll it out with my fingers. Okay. And we're gonna put it right into our pie pan. I want to gently put it in. And just leave the excess hanging for now. We'll deal with it later, but we want to have it there in case we need it. Right now, I'm just getting all the air bubbles out so they don't do anything to affect the design. Now we're going to work on our pie fillings. The Texas state flag is red, white, and blue. So for blue, we're gonna be using blueberry. For the red, we're gonna be using cherry. And for the white, we'll use a good cinnamon apple. Now, you'll just wanna review the design of the flag, and I can tell you that it's gonna be blue on one half and then white and red. So here we go, we're just gonna work quickly. Now, it's, it's kind of a jelly, so it's not like, it's gonna run as much as a true homemade pie filling does. And only use as much as you need to make the design. You can come back in later and tip it off. So I'm spreading out the blueberries on one whole side. Then I'm gonna start with the cherries, just in one quad quadrant. I'll put the apple in, and then we'll go and top everything off. I really find with this pie, I mean, it took me three or four times and the pies were super messed up. And that's when I learned, okay, get the best canned pie filling, which is gonna be stuff like, um, the best blueberries come from the East Coast. I really like the um, private label brands. They do a really good job. Also, Cracker Barrel has some really good pie fillings. So that's what you can do if you're used to using homemade pie fillings. Now for the design, you're gonna have one special pair of hardware for this. And that is my Texas cookie cutter. Now if you're in Texas and you're familiar with a grocery store chain called HEB, they always have these. But if not, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them in specialty baking shops but probably your best bet is just gonna be to buy online. They're very, very inexpensive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four Texas shapes and then one star. You can make the star by using a star cookie cutter or you can make the star by cutting it with your knife, which is what I'm gonna do today. Now the best thing to do is to pull all the dough off in one piece. I just have one of these little mini spatulas that you use in baking, and this is what we're going to do. We're gonna start by putting the star on the blueberries. Okay, we're just gonna put our little star down right in the middle of the blue. And then I'm just laying the little Texases out around the rest of the pie. Okay, so this is the basics of what our little Texas pie looks like. Now we're gonna do a little bit of egg wash on top. Egg wash is just one egg. So I'll just brush it on my little Texases. 
This helps it get really golden brown and kind of shiny. It's definitely what they do with like croissants and all of the baked goodies at your favorite bakery. They always put a little bit of egg wash on top, but it's not completely necessary. I'm just crinkling the crust now just to make it pretty. You can also go around it with a fork if that's more of your style. I've already been preheating my oven to 375 degrees. So it's ready to go now. Okay guys, here we go. It's our Texas flag. You can see how absolutely adorable it is. It'd be perfect for Christmas or to take to your next church pilot or something. It's one of those really cool, stylish ways to show how you feel about Texas. And you guys know how I feel. Now I'm Sarah Penrod, I'm the Urban Cowgirl. I'm here every Friday. Please subscribe to our channel. We wanna see you again. If you have any recipes that you'd like me to do or questions that you want me to ask, just put it in the comment section. I read everything. I'm here every Friday and I'll see you next time. Bye.